In this video, I'm going to show you how to search Zoho CRM for fields, for records that have fields that are empty or, or blank. Now, when you do a normal search in Deluge, so um, uh, Zoho.CRM.Search Records, it doesn't actually let you search for null values. So I'm going to be showing you an easy workaround for that. And let me just share my screen here. And hopefully I'm sharing the right screen. Otherwise, this will be a short video. Great. So I'm in my Zoho CRM. I'm in my test account. And let's go ahead and go to contacts. And let's say we want to find um, we want to find someone in our system who has uh, you know no title, right? And we want to add you know automatically add all the people in our system that has has no title. And this one was created rather recently for some reason. So let's go ahead and search that. So uh, in in normally when you do a search, I'm gonna delete a lot of these. So normally when you uh, make a search, let's go ahead and make a function for this. Uh, search for blank uh, title. And we're going to make this a standalone, create. So normally you do something like this, and, and this is how I, I, I code these, you know, we'll see basic search functions. So let's go search criteria equals title, title equals, equals, and then I'd say um, title name plus bracket. And it would look something like this. And so in our case, if we had a title name, let's go equals blank. And let's spell like, so it's search criteria and then info uh, zoho.crm.search records and we're going to look for contacts and search criteria and so this is typically what you do if, you know if let's say you're going to search for a specific thing let's uh, save and execute and it says invalid that's because we can't um search for blank blank values there right but let's say you really need to like let's we want to we want to run some function to clean up a bunch of things so we want to find a title where it's blank so what you're going to do is we're going to start let's go to settings and let's go to connections. We're gonna create a new connection. Create a new connection. I'm gonna, oh, it's right here. It's a whole OAuth. And then we're gonna look for uh, COQL, control F COQL. And then we also wanna go for modules uh, dot all. And let's call this um, CRM connection, copy, paste, create account. Uh, the following connections are to use the existing servers and scope. All right, so normally you'd click through and you'd log in. In our case, we're going to use TOQL. I've already used it. So let's, uh, let's actually then just go back and look COQL. It's right here, right? And this is now our scope. So I'm just going to copy this. And let's go back to our page here. We're going to comment this out. And let's make some architecture, right? So let's start out. And what's the first thing we want to do? Let's go uh, assemble the query, right? And then we're going to get the records from the query. And we're going to update records to CEO, just because I'm lazy like that. So let's start out with assembling the query. So I'm going to paste this in, right? Because we know we want to use the uh, connection request. So what is the actual query here? Well, let me just show you this. So was, um, I'm going to go to Google. I'm going to type in Zoho CRM API COQL. And I'm going to click this talk link and go down and kind of it's going to, um, on the right-hand side, where it's a sample request, again, 
you know, as a developer, you want to be la as lazy as you can be. So let's just click deluge, right? And I'm going to show full. And I'm, I'm actually going to copy this and I'm going to show you why I'm going to copy it. Copy paste. I'm going to use the CLQL. I'm going to put it right here and I'm going to delete this. So now we have a select query, right? So we're going to do a CLQL query where the last name, uh, uh, this, the example is select the last name, first name, full name from contacts. I don't like any of that. Uh, let's just do ID. I'm a lot lazier than this. Let's just do the ID where title with a capital T. Um, and then we're going to go is N-U-L-L. -L. It's very simple. Is null limit. And let's say 200. Um, and then at this point, I can run this. And it will show me all of them where the title is, is null. So let's go ahead and run that. Great. So there are three where the title is null. Um, if you look at this, it just says, here's the ID of each one. And that's where I say, get the record from the query. So let's, let's go ahead and do that. Let's go for each element, right? And we're going to update all the elements to CEO. And the elements are in the response. Let's say response dot get data. And let's say potential contact, right? And we're going to say info soho.crm.update record. The module is contact. The ID is potential contact dot get ID. And it's dot get ID because Right here, we say for this response, get the data. So that's this all the way to here. And then for each one, we're going to select the ID, which will give us this info here. And then the key value that we want to put in here, let's put in a key value. Let's go bracket, title, and then this. Now, um, I'm going to show you this two, two ways CEO. So I can do it this way, right? And uh, if you're just trying to do some quick and dirty code, this is fine. Um, if you want to make that information more readable, um, I like to make sure um, I do uh, this right here. So contact map equals map, contact map dot put, and then we'll do title and CEO. Go ahead and do that title, comma, CEO. And then we can put that in here. So now if I run, it should work. Boom, boom, boom. So all three of the contacts that were related have now have their um, title updated to CEO. So if I run it again, because they've all been updated, I'm expecting no results. There you go, very simple. So this is how you can do a CoQL query to find and update fields, records that have a specific field like. I hope this was helpful. See you in the next video.